But I, back to your question, which yeah. is, I guess, more appropriate in my wheelhouse. Cookies, which, which sunshine. Just the weather. Either yeah. one. Where is the sun? It hasn't appeared across southeastern Wisconsin for any length of time of significance for two weeks since the middle of January. Well, now as we approach February, I think we're finally going to start to see it. I'll show you that in the seven day. Meantime, still gray skies overhead from our West Bend Tower Cam in Washington County. No stars out. Yeah, and your weather headlines, the dreary days persist for at least a couple more. Colder air coming in. We're done with those 40s that we had through the middle part of January. Get ready for a few flakes as well. I think some pesky flurries tomorrow and then maybe some accumulating snow by Monday afternoon. Going into the record books on this day, 31 degrees, the high temperature at Milwaukee's Mitchell International, just two above the average of 29 and nowhere near that 55 degree record set back in 1914. This morning's low 22 degrees and right now outside close to Lake Michigan, still warmer than inland 30 degrees at Milwaukee's Mitchell International down one from the high 23 in Waukesha, Pewaukee, 24 in Brookfield, 25 in the falls. Down to the south we go, 27 in Burlington, 23 in Waterford and East Troy, and up to the north, 23 degrees in Campbellsport, but still hanging on to 28 degrees at the southern tip of Lake Winnebago there in Fond du Lac. And the winds continue to persist out of the northwest as low pressure drifts up to our north. We got that counterclockwise flow around it. Some snow showers up to our north, but also now some breaks in the clouds, which may make it down here across southeastern Wisconsin overnight but then the clouds will fill back in by tomorrow. So your storm team forecast for tonight. Expect to see mostly cloudy and mild conditions down to 20 and for tomorrow. A few pesky flurries or snow showers, otherwise breezy and mostly cloudy with highs up to near 31. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast. Then I think we get some accumulating snow as we head into Monday afternoon, but that occurs after a little bit of sunshine Monday morning. The clouds rapidly increase in that quick hitting snow shower or snowstorm coming in from Canada, maybe an inch or two of accumulation by Monday evening. And then look at this by Wednesday and into Groundhog's Day, more sunshine on the way at last. Stick around. We've got much more ahead, including sports from Rob Burks next.